afternoon from Coffee Bean and Tea League South Wales Mall Money and Light Movement. This is JG Ramos. Welcome back to my channel and welcome again. Well, let's welcome again to JG's Random Thoughts. By the way, the only time I'm going to do a live episode is when I'm on Patreon, right? So if you want to see uh, an episode bef months, probably months before it is actually shown on the YouTube search page, you better be a patron of mine, okay? Well, I guess it's still rolling. <laughs> well, so what are we going to talk about? What are we going to talk about today? What random thought do you have in mind? I'll try to answer that right now. That is if I'm... That is if I'm out of ideas right now, okay? Right now, it's, uh, it's raining outside, so I had to uh, readjust my sitting position. A few, an hour ago, it was really sunny. Now, it's it's raining heavily right now. So, I have to change the background, so I have to change tables, literally change tables. <clears throat> okay, so what random thought do we have now? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go back to probably episode 27 or 28. I can't, I can't, uh, I can't remember right now. But I uh, did a B-roll there, showing two students which are which are behind me, which were behind me while I was recording the video. So well. Oof. I got an idea. I got a random thought now. If you're a network marketer, should you should you recruit students? Should you recruit students? Let's answer that tonight. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's answer that this afternoon. <laughs> let's answer that this afternoon. Question. Oh, before I answer that burning question, I'm gonna give you a little background, a little backstory. To support my to support that question. Now, several years ago, I actually ventured into uh, recruiting students for my network mark for my network marketing venture at that time. Um, it was a rather pleasant experience. We had positive feedback, but unfortunately, none signed up. <laughs> well, some of them actually bought products. Okay, I, there's a there's there's some there's something good that's happened. There's something good that happened, right? But the main objective of the project back then was to was to recruit new recruit new members to the team from the student league, college students particularly, and. It was part failure, part success. Okay? Part failure because no one signed up. Part success, some of them bought products. Some of them bought the products. And, oh, it's, re it's, really, it's really raining outside. How are we supposed to get home? <laughs> me, and my, me, me and my family are professional commuters, so we're... Uh, the problem's dawning on us, right? The problem's dawning on me right now because I'm coming to you from my laptop, okay? And good thing my... This this laptop's case is waterproof, so I got nothing to worry about. But uh, transportation problem will be, will be a problem later on. But enough of that. <laughs> so, with that in mind, with the back with the backstory in mind, I repeat the question. Should... If you're a network marketer, should you sponsor students? <clears throat> the answer is no, right? My first no, right? From my first live episode since episode one. <laughs> the answer is no. Why? Well, the number one problem, the number one problem I... Uh, I got to know firsthand there from my experience was students are scatterbrains, right? They're either focused on their studies or they're not focused at all life. Okay? 
during that time. I don't know uh, how I don't know how students think these days because I'm for one, I'm no longer a student. I've been uh, I graduated from school in, I've been a graduate of school since 1995. So I don't know. But in my experience, uh, we could spell them out. All right. I couldn't spell them out. So, well, yeah, students are scattered brains. All right. Number two, they don't have this. Okay. They don't have this. Money, mula. Unless you're, so, unless you're offering a uh, never marketing membership worth less than 500 pesos they would they would probably they'll probably think about it all right not say yes remind you not say yes but think about it now there will be rare exceptions there will be rare exceptions because um there are students that really that uh that are more than willing to uh venture into a business right it has been done Okay, I'm saying it's not impossible. I'm saying it's not impossible. I'm saying it's not impossible, but it, it, it has been done for traditional businesses at least. Take a look at Bill Gates. Right, he was only in his sophomore year in uh, in Harvard when he started Microsoft. Uh, and of course, the late Steve Jobs okay, is one of the he's one of the best examples. He dropped out of college. To, to form Apple with Steve Wozniak, right? So there are, there are rare exceptions. Um, well, personally, I doubt if if any student these days has has that kind of has that kind of mindset, has either Bill Gates or Steve Jobs' mindset, right? That, that's a, that's hard to find these days. But there there are exceptions. You have you just have to to be patient enough to. Let me search for them. Let me look for them. But look for them in the right places and in the right time. Okay. Oh, I've been I've been explaining the how already. I forgot to say how. <laughs> okay, as part of the how, if you really want to sponsor students, I would strongly suggest not not try to not trying to recruit them during the school year, during the academic year. As much as possible, go after them during semester break and the summer. If you live in America, there's there's something called spring break, right? You can you can go after them there. There there are a few, I think there are a few American students who are uh, who are not into spring break, so they're probably they're probably your best candidates. And. Um, yeah, my, my answer would still be no, right? Unless the person dropped out of school. <laughs> okay, unless the, okay, that's the third, that's the third situation. Unless the first, unless that person dropped out of school, uh, he's got nothing to do. And he has the, the entrepreneurial mindset. Okay, he's more than willing to learn. He's more than willing to not, not take chances, but to, uh, work hard for it, work smart for it, and uh, you should be more than willing to to take no for an, to not take no for an answer. <laughs> because in the world of network marketing, it's actually an industry and a profession. In the world of network marketing, you got to learn not to take no for an answer in the right way, in the professional way. So well. <coughs> That's my answer. Okay, the answer is no, and you now know the reasons why. Okay. Hmm. Now, feel free to comment below. Okay, feel free to comment below. Of course, if it's a random thought, it's open for discussion. Okay. Oh, by the way, see this T-shirt. <laughs> I just I just bought it at Uniqlo. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a Gintama T-shirt. So when it comes to when it comes to days like this, I'm living the otaku lifestyle, <laughs> right? Uh, Gintama's Gintama's one of my favorite anime. Right, one of my favorite 
one of my favorite anime and Uniqlo just uh, put out their one of their co-branding with certain mangas. One of them is one of them is Gintama. Okay, so I was able to buy a Sadaharu T-shirt. <laughs> Huh. Good afternoon from Patreon, folks. <laughs> so, um, so from now on, you're going to see me. You're going to see me do an episode, uh, an episode of this show live, right? If and only if you're on Patreon, <laughs> okay? That's the only time you will see me do an episode live. Now that I figured it out. <laughs> That's that's the beauty of being uh, that's the beauty of being an influencer. It's a trial and error thing. Okay, it's a trial and error thing. From coffee bean and tea leaf, Southwood's Mall. I bid you a blessed Sunday, and I'll see you in the next episode. Adios, money and life movement. <laughs>